I'm so excited. I'm so honored. I'm so pleased to introduce to you a brand new program on CRBC TV. This program is Tat City Watch. Just as the name implies, it's a program that is poised to move you forward. It's a three-segmented program. It's a 30 minutes of fun, heart banging, and your most anticipated activities on this channel. But it's something to start to give you something new. So I think you could just sit back and smile at something. You could just sit back and relax and say, wow. All right. Well, on the verge of starting the show, I'd like to introduce to you the red carpet. But before then, I almost forgot to say my name. W to the O to the F A I. What five Samuel? Thank you for watching. Stay segment where you get to meet your favorite celebrities you get to meet your upcoming artists here in the state i get to meet other people that matter welcome to think about it how many upcoming and known artists have been able to stage their live band concerts using a live band performance there might be a number but i think there are quite few today we have a star artist in the house who has recently dropped his album and he tapped it my package he's just in a class of, of his own he thrills you with his beats you're lost in the tempo of his voice which never goes unnoticed Let's get to meet the star artist we have for today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to introduce to you right now, Mr. Exto. He's here with us on the red carpet segment for City Watch. Mr. Exto, it's good to have you on this program. Thank you very much. Okay, it's good been a while. Was, well, I'm still around. Okay, so how's it been? We are still paying the bills. <laughs> we are trying. Okay, uh, Mr. Exto, this is the red carpet segment of City Watch. And Could you just give us a little insight about yourself as Mr. Exto? People see you on TV. They get to hear about you. Can we get to meet who Exto is? Well, Mr. Exto is um, Christopher Steven, uh, who remembers of all the schools he passed through. He chooses to remember Hope Waddell as um, the strongest of the pillars. Okay. And then um, I went to Hope Waddell, had a stint at Unical, went to Lagos. And then uh, the other part of my education was in the streets. And I majored in common sense as from Hard Knock University. <laughs> okay. And then I started singing way back in Hope Hotel, 1987. That was when I started cutting the edge. Okay. Before I did my first album um, in 2001, after I'd worked with uh, a couple of other artists okay. who were big stars then. And uh, my first album, 2001, was titled Namio. Okay. I got uh, an Amen Award nominee for, I mean, a nomination for Best Reggae Album. And um, other things started happening. I am the CEO of South Central. I'm a musician, a social critic to some, when we are drinking beer though. Okay, sounds interesting. Uh, <laughs> okay. And uh, every other thing okay. comes after that. Mr. Exto, I just heard you say you're the CEO of South Central Records, right? Yes. So how do you merge being the CEO of South Central Records and being a social critic, being an artist? I, I really, I don't get that. I really want to get it clear. Well, the social critic part is um, part of the, I mean, it's from the fact that uh, my style of music, especially those people that started, that were running in the era that we started, did a lot of um, music taking up the social, uh, society. That's the iconoclastic posture. Okay. It's not as if I just sit down and uh, look for opportunity to get up and criticize government, criticize this, criticize that. It's just to mirror the society. That's the social critic part is the musical aspect. Okay. Because uh, hardly will I do a song that uh, people cannot relate with. And if I see him, I go talk him. It's, okay. it's like that. But then being uh, the CEO of South Central, music is very demanding as a profession. You know, but when you, the word is show business. Okay. Now, most of the times, you, what you see is the show. Uh, but there are times, too, that we have free time to face the business aspect of this, uh, the show, which is, uh, why, uh, which is uh, how South Central came into the picture. Okay. So when we are running our show and off stage, we sit down for South Central. Okay. How far have you been able to influence the life of other upcoming artists and other people around? Well, influencing their lives, I don't know. Maybe, maybe positively or negatively. It depends on positively. which perspective. <laughs> Well, <laughs> but uh, um, actually, the truth is that um, if I come across an, uh, a, an intelligent artist who is talented, I, I don't let him just pass like that. Okay. Now, it's not about business. It's the, remembering the fact that um, we are in the backwaters of showbiz. 
and uh, our people as a people. We do not, we've not seen the potentials in showbiz as a business yet. Uh, that's why we are losing all the reputation we used to have. Now, for instance, we're in Calabar now, and uh, the ethic around here have a particular musical identity. Okay. They have the combi, they have the tembe that even if you play it in England, they will know that's ethic music. Okay. But the ethics have no musician alive recording as an ethic person, right. which is bad for a people. You understand? So when we see, when we stumble on those kind of people, the last person who did good music in ethic who made a hit was King Zoro Boy. Yeah, that's true. And he died unremembered. Nobody talked about him. A couple of weeks after Michael Jackson died and the whole world was screaming Michael Jackson. So it's still the part of, uh, part of what we are facing. And uh, Zoro Boy was South Central. Zoro was singing in my band. Before we realized that, even as a child, I used to see Zoro for a ferry day sing, oh, ah, what can this man, and then we decided to record Zoro. Before, so we picked Zoro and tried our little way, and Zoro was a hit. Okay. Father Kane was on South Central, he was a hit okay. with Yawa. Okay. New School was on South Central, they made a hit. Okay. And so far, how far? That's how it's been. Next, I actually stumbled into one of your albums, I think No Time or something on CRBC. And that's a brand new album, right? Could you tell us more about that album, No Time? Well, um, an album, artists are compelled to periodically make albums. Okay. Because um, that is what keeps you in the business and um, sustenance. So I made No Time, it's a 10 tracker. No, but that's not the title of the album. The title is my package. Oh, the title is my package. Yes, actually, it has my package, and still alive is part of it. Okay. Because um, we had a new deal, a new marketing deal in England, and uh, the person who picked up the deal wanted to market all our old stuff. Okay. That's you know. South Central Records. Yes. Okay. Exto. Okay. Exto. Mr. Exto wanted to market from Namio, um, uh, and he decided that we should pick songs from those ones, and I was like, no. We actually did a song, Still Alive, I mean, an album, Still Alive, that we were about to just start uh, promoting. People have bought these songs already, and the album was not well promoted. So I think that if we are going to do anything, we can just add some new songs to a couple of songs in that album and push out. Then we, any other subsequent album we make under that management, we get some songs from behind. And it was fine with him, that's why we now came up with this other album. And uh, it's not doing badly. Okay, that's no time, right? How yes. about the videos for no time? Have you released the videos or are still anticipating the videos? The videos are very expensive to shoot these days. Okay. Uh, you don't just go and stand on that one flower in one hotel and shoot <laughs> five songs or six songs. Okay. We spend good money to do no time and we are still shooting other videos. Okay. And uh, I hope that by the end of October, we'll be able to release the videos into the market. But then uh, I know that, um, well, uh, everybody wants to see BCDs, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, <laughs> people should buy the audio first. Mm -hmm. It's only in Nigeria that you see that it's doing BCDs for sale. Mm -hmm. And that is how warped the whole system is because uh, normally an artist should not go to do like five, six, seven videos just to sell. You know, videos are to promote songs, not to sell. And if mm -hmm. you are talking about No Time, No Time as the album, it means that the song is well promoted. That is a song on the album. Okay, that is a song on the album. The yes, album is it's not happy. even the title of the album. Okay, okay. You know. Okay, I'm still particular about no time. Like I told you earlier on, what could be better than somebody who sings the usual things that happens in life, tells you about the usual tragedies and comedies of life in just a usual and very casual way? I was watching no time. The guy stumbled into no time. There are some things you said, and I was like, that was really wonderful. How do you get your inspiration for your music, for your lyrics? Where does this inspiration come from? Mr. Charlie, South Central. What's some liquor for people where hold tight for the business when things never nice? It never be easy. All those ones where they have us before. <laughs> God use what they use, they have us. Bless us. They never be so we love them. South Central. Come on. Ah ha ha ha. No time. No time. Ah ha ha ha. No time. Too good your time. No time. Ah ha ha ha. Artists sit down and uh, everything you see can inspire you. Okay. 
It depends on what I want to write about. First of all, I was uh, working with my sound engineer, and after we finished um, Still Alive album, he now came up and said, make we do something where people don't believe say you should do. Okay. He said, like what? He said, like hip hop. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea, you know. But then if I was going to do hip hop, I don't want to come out as a hip hop artist. I should do a hip hop that even hip hop artists will agree that when this one is good. So I decided to pick a story that everybody can relate with. And then the story goes beyond uh, music. Okay. Because uh, even you, as you did, so you go believe I'm not. <laughs> you know, everybody feels it when uh, people are mm -hmm. fighting and telling you simply because they've not seen a millionaire mm -hmm. in your field around here. Mm -hmm. But then there's no field. I've seen poor doctors, I've seen poor lawyers, I've seen poor engineers, I've seen poor politicians. So if we have poor musicians, it does not mean that other people should not do music because I've also seen rich musicians. You know, and that's where the song came from. Art and sport is, uh, is the only thing that can take you from nobody to somebody overnight. Okay, okay. That's the time it takes between here and Europe. And you put your pen to paper and you become a millionaire instantly. You understand? And it takes about a couple of weeks for a musician to become a millionaire if he has done a good music. Any because artist at all. Yes, because the moment he blows in the streets, his life changes. You know, and people have not come to that realization, which is why... <coughs> We have upcoming artists for five years, six years, five editions of the same event. The same people will come as upcoming artists. People will win a, 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 a talent hunt and still go back to do talent hunt in the next edition of the same talent hunt. It doesn't make sense. Okay, but Mr. X, so you are aware of the fact that um, most of the young guys we have coming up around town, they're just going to music because they want to be stars, they want to be known, they want to be seen on TVs, they want to be, on, they want to be celebrities. The zeal is not really coming in from them. They don't really have this passion. They don't really have this yearning desire to go into music, but they just do it for the fun of it. Like, ah, let me just become a celebrity and I'm known. What, what kind of advice would you have for such people? And what do you think about such people who don't have the passion? Music is a very tricky business, and it's, okay. a, it's one business that can really mess you up. Because the moment you develop that passion for music, without asking God if that is what God actually wanted you to do, you go halfway into it, you can ruin your life in it. Because maybe you grow up keeping a particular hairstyle <laughs> or a particular look, you will not be able to go and look for a factory work. You will be seeing yourself as a star. And only you will know that time has passed because music is dynamic. Okay. But if it is what God wanted you to do, you will always find a way. You understand? Yeah. Music is actually one business that you have all over the world is the same that you have some of the most unrealized dreams. You know, sometimes you see very talented artists, but they are not well packaged. Okay. They are not well managed. Like, we see a lot of that around here. Packaging is what, we have a lot of talented people here. But you see, nobody will package us if people do not package us. Even in America, you, so somebody must have a talent, another person has money, they marry these two. That's why you have managers and record companies, record labels. Their own is to go and pick the artists and say, look, this guitar way they play, I can take you around the world playing it. <laughs> but you cannot practice guitar and go and look for money to shoot your video, go and look for money to do your album, go and look for money to do everything about yourself. And then anybody thinks that you can measure up to the others that people pump money into them. <laughs> Tomorrow they will say, ah, my own musicians don't even go far. So you pick an artist within the area of his strength. No American artist can sing a combi like our own artist here if we have to look okay. for an a combi singer. Okay. So our uh, people should be sponsored, supported within the area of their strength. Okay. So when we see those guys walking in the streets and they look at where he is good at and stop looking at him as wasting his time. But now it is easier because we have seen mega stars in Nigeria. We have seen companies branding their image according to, I mean, along with some artists. That's from other parts of the country, right? He's Sonny Neji, not on a global board. He's from okay. here. Okay. But how many people from Ishibori there is ready to say, uh, uh, okay, let us train another, or support other of our children to take towards uh, 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 the line of Sonny? We have the biggest opportunity in Calabar. Every Christmas, the government of Cross River State invites musicians from all over the world and give them money. 
and then people our people sit down and see musicians coming in and earning good money and nobody thinks that look the best thing to do for this boy is to spend like x amount of money within one or two years and the moment he gets to the level of earning that good money he's gone you know so before it didn't happen now we have seen the fact that this thing is lucrative so why are we not supporting people so we are still benefiting and uh, i've been a star from then those benefits still come okay. of course today you can walk into a bank and people are please don't stand in a queue okay. those are still the kind the same okay. and uh, we can eat anything and drink anything without <laughs> spending anything <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, so, Mr. Exto, what, what's the advice you have for people that are coming up in Cross River State? That you're talking about upcoming artists within and outside Cross River State. What would you well, um, first of all, I would like to, uh, I would like to, the advice will come in two ways. Okay. The artists of Cross River State and the managers of artists of all of art in Cross River State. Okay. First of all, if you are an artist in Cross River State, you want to be an artist, it's important to pray and ask God if that is actually what He wants you to be. Because the road is rough. Okay. And every year, the stakes are higher. You know, the stakes are higher. Every think. year, videos are getting more expensive. Production is getting more expensive. Because artists are actually also making good money. So for the beginners, it is more difficult. But if it is what God wants, He will make a way. God is the one who does the networking. So it's not going to be too difficult for you. Though you will never, ever break even in this industry easily mm -hmm. if you break even easily you die easily okay. that is true because this is one industry you don't go and sit down in the university so they will not teach you how to make a hit in school okay. yeah. if i give you the whole day you're going to sit down here and just be talking 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 time is not side. i guess you've been enjoying the first segment of this program thank you very much for topping the face of this show thank you very much for topping this segment thank you for coming around here to add more shin to this program <laughs> Finally, before I let you go, what would you say about the vision of City Watch? I would like you to say something about this program. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, first of all, um, I think um, you've gone through a lot to put this program together. Okay. And um, I must uh, commend you for your energy, Thank for you. the standard you want to achieve, and I must also commend your sponsors incidentally the mirage has always been behind uh, creativity thank you and i must commend the mirage okay. and uh, as for the program itself the content is good thank and you. Uh, that's why <laughs> extra is on it <laughs> <laughs> mr extra it's good to have you on set again. thank you very much all right well I'm getting into the next segment of this program well, I hope you all are having as much fun as I am having on the program. We are going into the second segment of the program. Without wasting much of the time, it is called the Opulence of Nature, like I told you earlier on. We are going to be celebrating the tourist site in Cross River State with the stars from Aqua Vista. Everyone is decked up on their life jacket, and I think it's time to go get my life jacket. But before I go, let's take notes back. Entertainment is skeletal without tourism, so let's try to inject tourism into entertainment to add shame to the program. You know, in Cross River State, tourism is the bedrock for everything. There's no entertainment without tourism in the state. Join me as I take you on the ride as we go for a boat cruise. Welcome. Welcome to Cross River State, a nature-friendly state that exposes you to the beauty of life. A state with many wonderful dimensions in physical, geographical, superlative cultures, 
unexplored historical features and amazing traditions. Interestingly, the future of tourism lies here in Africa. Above all, in the very heart of Cross River State. The primary aim of this segment is to enlighten you about tourism as a vehicle for studying and discovering your society, your culture, and your identity. Let's enjoy the credible nuggets of hospitality and education. Let's enjoy the credible nuggets of tourism activities engulfed in Cross River State. Indeed, we've got a rich cultural heritage. Together, we will appreciate the exotic nature of our state. We will open our ears to nature's song. We will feel the opulence of nature. We will experience the pastoral tranquility of illustrious equatorial landscape. There is no place like Africa with over 3,000 cultures, a thousand languages, and a fascinating history. There is no better place to find inspiration than in Africa. There is no better place to find inspiration than in Cross River State. This adventurous travel expedition is all about Cross River State. It's all about you and it's all about Calabar. Let's identify with the tourism driven innovation of Cross River State. Cross River State, business or leisure, welcome home. The nation's paradise. to present to you something very very exciting something very very appealing on CRBC TV I guess you all had fun as you watched the program on this TV well this is how far we can go on to this edition this is how far we can go on in two seconds today but I can assure you about this program we are poised to move forward it gets better on every edition this is its maiden edition but next week we're still on going to be on to the program so I want to appeal to you all to bet on this program because City Watch is the best we will make it the best for now what can I say it's time to say bye-bye, but we shall be coming here same time, same station next week. Till then, 
Keep brush ever stay clean and green. My name is Wafai Samuel. I've been your hostess. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. I know you want it because you bad. You want it because you bad. You want it because you bad.